What's up, what's up everybody, Michael here today with another video today, and I hope you are having a wonderful day here. I just want to explain to m many if he's going to say, if he's going to say, we've been to the championship, we got blown out without any, ex without any explanation why. Now, let me say that Aaron Rodgers, you know, I had my beefs with Aaron Rodgers. I believe he tanked the way he did this, the, the, the 2018 season to get McCarthy fired. You are aware the 2018 season that that his last game as a head coach, the game that he lost at home to the Arizona Cardinals, the, the team that ended up with the number one pick with Josh Rosen as quarterback, were enough to beat Aaron Rodgers in Lambeau Field. Stop. Kirk Cousins won his first ever Sunday night football game against Aaron Rodgers. He tanked that bad to get McCarthy fired. Meanwhile, Peyton Manning carried four terrible coaches to four Super Bowls. Why couldn't Aaron Rodgers carry Mike McCarthy to another Super Bowl? I know he didn't like Mike McCarthy, but man, I don't know if he hated him this badly, but... Let me run down the laundry list so many can explain. Oh, we lost to the 9-7 and seven Eagles team. Let, let me run down the laundry list of Aaron Rodgers left since this Super Bowl win. All right. 2011, he was 15-1 and one and got blown out by Eli Manning and the Giants, who were 9-7. And, and don't say because they won the, well, they won the Super Bowl that year. You need to give me more than a reason why. Then the next, re then the next season, in then in 2012, he lost. He got blown out by Colin Kaepernick. He got ran off the field by Colin Kaepernick. Then the next year, he lost at home to Colin Kaepernick. You know the the blown coverage play to Randall Cobb. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers lost at home. After he beat Chicago and we're in their playoff chances, Colin Kaepernick comes in and beats him at home. Then the, ne then the next year, 2014, he blew a 16-point lead out to Russell Wilson. And then 2015, he lost to Chris Warner in overtime. That was, I'll give him a pass on that. He didn't embarrass himself. He threw a Hail Mary, and it wasn't his fault that the Arizona Cardinals had the ball in overtime. Then... In 2017, he got blown out by the team that blew... A twenty to three lead in the Super Bowl, so there's really no reason to there's no reason to say anything. He just got blown out uh, off the field by Matt Ryan, and then 2017 he gets he gets injured. He starts a four and one, gets injured, and you and I know what you're gonna be like. Oh well, he got injured, man. Why you why you take? He came back and and lost to the Carolina Panthers. He and they were seven and six. You're telling me uh, he that shouldn't be enough for a playoff run, a wild card spot. The 2018, I already explained why he tanked. He tanked the way he did to get McCarthy fired. Then the 2020 season, he lost 2020 playoffs. He lost to he got blown out by Jimmy G. So let that sink in. The most of the times he'd been in the playoffs, they were either blowouts. And one of them, which he blew a 16-point lead, and one where he lost to overtime. So, meanwhile, you want to say that we lost to a 9-7 Eagles team. How is it our fault that most of the time, like one time, when Mitch Trubisky threw a good dart to Allen Robinson, and he they had the lead? How is it that they his fault that they surrendered the lead and they they got the kicker in field goal range but he double doinked it and if you're saying we lost to a nine seven Eagles team okay explain this their quarterback was a Super Bowl winning MVP Nick Foles and had four impressive games beating Jarrett beating the Rams that won the Super Bowl throwing four touchdowns against Sean Watson. Mm -hmm. And he goes on the road to beat the Redskins, and they won. And he won a playoff game. And he, if he was one drop, if he was one score away from going to the NFC Championship, that's not embarrassing. He had, a, and he had a fourteen point lead too. If he holds on to that fourteen, the four, 
to nothing lead. They could have been they could have gone to another Super Bowl and win that. And been back to back Super Bowl championships. Is that what we're talking about, Manny? And that's the quarterback that's on our team. I can name quarterbacks that are better than Aaron Rodgers right now. Let's start with the South. We know Breeze is better. We know Jameis Winston's better. We know Matt Ryan's better than him. That I rather take. I rather take the, those three over him. Now let's start with the North. We know Kirk Cousins is better than him. Hell, I heck, hell, I I rather take Aaron. I I rather take Trubinsky over him and Nick Foles over him. And let's start with the East. Dak Dak Borles is better than him. Daniel Jones is better than him. And let's start with the um, West. We know Russell Wilson's better than him. I'm just going to say Russell Wilson and Kyler Murray. And the other two, which Jared Goff and Jimmy G, will have to be. Uh, I'll go with Jimmy G over Aaron Rodgers. And then let's start with the AFC. Let's start with, let's start with the um, East. We know Cam Newton's better than him. Then let's start with the South. We know Philip Rivers is better than him. Well, let's start with the West. We know Patrick Mahomes is better than him. And then the other conference, which was the, I believe, the North, we know Lamar Jackson is better than him. The reason why I didn't bring up Brady, because I think Brady's old and he's washed, but I definitely would put Brady over Aaron Rodgers any day. I just named, like, quarter. Like 15 quarterbacks that are better than Aaron Rodgers. What's up here, Minnie? I dare you to make a reaction video to this. I don't care if you have to wait till 25th. I just want you to react to this one video. One video, and then that's it. You, I can. I'm not gonna watch the video on the 25th because I think that's well. I think it's gonna be retarded unless there's like a Fizz Vegas video he's mentioning and he's airing him out. But that's it. That's all. Peace.